Hello friends, as promised, I have an activity for us to do um, to stay safe at home. I like to, when I stay home, um, I like to craft and that's a safe way of spending my time while I am at my, my RV. Um, now I've been thinking a lot about uh, the people who make me feel safe and we actually had some um, someone who makes me feel safe come through the park, our RV park, the other day and it was a fire truck and I thought about it and I was like these first responders are keeping us so safe they're always keeping us safe before this COVID-19 during the COVID-19 all of this they always keep us safe so I thought we could do a fun activity to kind of remember our uh, first responders and our uh, firemen and women out there so we have a really fun way of making some fire no it's not real fire but we're gonna make some fire um, and then we're gonna make a fire truck to um, to kind of put it out or just to put on the, the cool uh, design that we make with our fire so the things that we are going to need for this is you're going to need some white construction paper um, we're going to be using we're going to be spraying shaving cream on something so either a tray I have my paper plate um, you're gonna be spraying the shaving cream on that so make sure it's big enough that you have room um, to put a bunch on and then you're also going to need a glue stick or some glue a pencil some scissors and then you're gonna need some food coloring as well um, we're only going to use yellow and red I know this looks orange, but it's yellow. Always look at the cap and that's how you know what color it is. They have to make it pretty orange just so that when we drop it into a liquid or um, any substance, it uh, comes yellow instead. So you're also going to need a, a few other pieces of construction paper. You have your one big one. That one's going to be nice and um, it's going to stay this big we're not going to cut it now or we're not going to fold it or anything but you're also going to need some yellow some red some black and then you are going to want some extra white to uh be able to cut out of so um you can either you know take a section from your original sheet or you can have some extra i had some extra so that's what we're going to do um to start though we're just going to take our plain white sheet of construction paper that we're um, not cutting or marking or doing anything yet to um, we're gonna set that aside and keep that in mind while we take our shaving cream and I'm gonna put just in case I'm worried about making a mess. So I'm gonna try and make this kind of more of a tray. I am going to spray some shaving cream. There we go. On my plate, Ooh, already messy. <laughs> and then I'm going to take some yellow, drop some yellow on the shaving cream I'm gonna put a bunch on because I don't use a lot of food coloring so I don't need to save a lot of it um, if you need to save your food coloring and you don't have a lot make sure that you're not doing as much but this will get more color on the um, sheet that we're going to be transferring this to and then I'm gonna put some red I'm not gonna put as much red on there just because I like yellow but red is awesome too, so make sure that we put a good amount all over. I'm excited. This is the first time I've ever done this, so you guys get to see what uh, my, my first attempt looks like on this. And then I'm going to take my sheet of paper, and I'm going to just, I'm going to only dip the like top half of it here I'm not gonna dip the whole thing just because it's small and um, I only want my uh, fire this is gonna make our fire um, I only want my fire on some of my paper so I'm going to just dip it 
press it down a little bit. Ooh, looks like it's coming through. And then I'm going to peel it off. I don't, I think there needs to be more on there. So I'm going to dip it again and see what happens. You guys can do that too. Getting messy already. I'm going to try and peel that this time. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot better. So now I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to take this paper plate. You can use some um, construction paper or no, sorry, um, like uh, a box, some cardboard. Um, I am worried that this is going to make a mess as I push it or as I try and clean this off so I'm going to put something underneath it if I can find something that I don't care if it gets messy we're gonna put here we'll put the black sheet underneath it because we don't need a lot of the black so after you put the shaving cream on or after you dip it in the shaving cream you're gonna want to get the shaving cream off so I'm just pushing it like that in hopes, I'm hoping that it kind of turns out to be, well, that's not bad. You know, I'm not super happy with that, so I feel like I want to dip it again. Good thing I did not throw this away yet. We're going to dip it. It's going to get pretty wet, but you know what? We're going to go for it. We're going to see what happens if I dip it again. I want it to look like fire. So, I'm going to try my darndest to get a lot of color on there. Let's hope that does something else. Let's try this again. Oh, that looks pretty cool. I'm satisfied with that. Yeah, that's hard to clean. <laughs> I would suggest using um, a cardboard box top for that part. I'm going to throw away my big old mess of shaving cream. Okay, I threw away my trash. I washed my hands. I still have food coloring all over my hands. My mom always used to make fun of me. Whenever we did uh, projects with food coloring, my hands would always just end up covered in food coloring. So I tried really hard, but I still got it on there. <laughs> I also got some cardboard. I just ripped off a little part from a box so that I can clean the rest of this off. And this is going to need to dry. So while this is drying, that's our fire. That looks pretty cool. Um, while this is drying, we're going to um, make our fire truck. So, um, we're going to need our other construction paper. Um, we're done with the shaving cream and the food coloring and all that. We have our red, our yellow, our white, and our black. Our red is going to be, mine's a little folded, so hopefully yours isn't folded. The red is going to be the actual truck. So we have to draw a uh, truck shape. And so what I was looking at was it was kind of like a rectangle. Uh, you might not be able to see that. Let me see if I can get a marker instead. So kind of like a rectangle. I'm not going to close that last part there though because then I'm going to go up and then across and down kind of diagonally to connect it that way so it kind of looks like a fire truck. Now you can make whatever fire truck shape you want just as long as you can tell that it's a fire truck that's all that matters. So. This is my attempt at a fire truck. And then you're gonna cut that out. You're also going to cut out um, some shapes. You're going to cut out uh, from our yellow, we're going to cut out two small circles and uh, one small rectangle. So 
like it's going to look like. And then a small rectangle. So we're going to cut those out in just a second. And then on our white, we are going to cut out two medium rectangles. So here's our small rectangle. We want to make two medium rectangles. I'd say that's medium compared to small. And then we're gonna make, um, we're gonna have to make a ladder out of this. So this is gonna be the really, really hard part. I'm drawing two lines. And then I'm gonna make the little legs on each part. They look terrible, let's see. Let's fix that a little bit. I am not an artist, but I love doing art and crafts, so this is how I end up doing them at home. And then I'm going to draw rectangles that we're going to cut out so it kind of looks like a ladder. Yeah, that could be a ladder if you just take that little part out. And then on the black, we're going to do two big circles. These are our small circles, so they've got to be bigger than that. That's pretty big. Those might even be too big for me, but... I don't think you can really see those. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see them. I'm going to cut all these out and I'll be right back. And like magic, I got them all cut out. Um, here's my truck. Here are my wheels. And we're going to put it all together. Grab your glue stick. Um, I am going to start with the wheels because I know where those go. So we can put our black wheels on. And then we're going to put the yellow circles in the middle of the wheels to complete them. That does not look too bad. <laughs> and then our windows are going to be these white rectangles. So I'm going to put some glue. Put our white rectangles in there. I bet even some of you artists in there could draw a little fireman, firewoman in here. Um, this is our siren or our light on top. So I'm going to put just a little bit of, actually, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there and then stick our siren on top and our ladder goes on the side. My ladder's a little big, but that's okay. There's our fire truck. Not too shabby. We have our fire. I'm gonna put my fire truck next to my fire here. And I know some of you guys, so it looks like he's rushing to the fire and he's going to put it out. I know some of you artists out there can draw maybe a hose, a water hose, and it's putting out the fire. So have fun with your shaving cream, your food coloring, and your construction paper. Um, doing this fun, safe uh, project, showing some respect to our um, first responders, keeping us safe always. Have fun this weekend, that next week. Whenever you see this video, I miss you guys and I love you.